Hey, real quick video today. We've been talking a lot about terminal input and output. So far, we've been using one particular kind of object for output, and that object has been the system.out object. For input, we've been using scanner objects, so instances of the type scanner. Uh, we've been using the next double method in particular to take in user input uh, for uh, programs, say, the temperature conversion program. But uh, we also are able to use it to take in integers and strings using next int and next line, and they work exactly the same way. Quick example here, if I declare a scanner object, I'm calling it my reader, so I'm instantiating it and I'm saying that we're going to use the keyboard. Okay, look, I declare a string, I declare an int, I declare a double, and I can use that same scanner object to read sequentially three different things from the user. So first I use it to read whatever the user has typed in, and stick it in that string, then we wait for the user to type an int, and then we go ahead and take their next double. That's it. Uh, make sure you know how to instantiate a new scanner object, make sure you can collect integer floating point and string input, store it in variables, and take a look at the method signatures for scanner, at least the ones that we looked at, and make sure you can pick out what the return type, what the name, and what the parameters, or lack thereof, are for each of those three methods.